Okay. All right. He looked at me with disgust as if to let me know that I was wasting his time. Ask about access to the couches. Who has access to the room with the couches? My guest and I, but no one except Fredo uses them when I'm away. He looked at the couch the woman was using. At least that's what I thought. Leave. I had nothing to say to him. There was a rather provocatively dressed 20-something-year-old woman on the couch. Warnings flashed from the device's panel. Hmm. Ask Haggis about her. Who is she? I don't know. I've never seen this whore before. <laughs> wow. Take a closer look at the woman. She must have been planning a short session so she didn't put on a suit. She looked like one of the women I had seen on the computer screen in the hall. Is that your assistant? She's just a random lowlife. Leave her alone and get back to my son. Haggis's face swelled up with anger. Explain. She may have some crucial information. All right, just hurry up. Check the couch's panel. She's exceeded the safety limits for logged in time. Over four days without a suit. She must have taken a game pillar or a bladder would have, wouldn't have held out. She started revitalization, but something interrupted the process. Even though she couldn't control her body, I thought she could hear me. Her helmet had an external monitoring port. I could connect to it and see what happened. Connect to the helmet. Haggis noticed what I was doing. The observer's port. He nodded. I see you're prepared. When I connected to her helmet, the image was transmitted to my lenses. Mmm. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. The girl drifted in an undefined space. It wasn't the network menu or any of the games I knew. Hello, I'm a game deck. I was hired by Mr. Haggis. I connected to your helmet. You could talk, and I'll hear you on my walk tell. According to the login, your name is Starlet. Is that right? She moaned like she was in pain. A game deck? That's great. Yeah, I'm Starlet, and I can't seem to log out. Look around. The digital space was filled with data sets that my walk tell rendered as luminous shapes. Question her. I want to ask you a few questions. If it helps you get me out of here, ask about the alcohol you found. Oh, no. Ask about Idris. Do you know Idris? I saw your picture on her computer. She looked at me with surprise. Yes, she's my girlfriend. Did you come here to see her or the guys? Can we not talk about it right now? Get me out of here and I'll tell you everything. Ask about her condition. How are you feeling? I can't move or feel anything. I can only talk. And this emptiness, I'm going crazy here. Your revitalization was interrupted. I've never seen anything like it before, so I don't know how to help you yet. Ask what happened. What happened? How did you get here? I don't know. I didn't even know where here is. I was in the game with the guys when someone attacked me. Who attacked you? In what game? Was Fredo Haggis there? I'm confused and exhausted. I can't. Someone definitely attacked me. I blacked out. Ask about the alcohol you found. I found signs of someone drinking alcohol here. Do you know anything about it? Still with the questions. Help me and you'll get your answers. All for assistance. Let me try and help you. Mm, progress bar. Her progress bar has appeared on your objective panel. It can be influenced by interactions and decisions. Remember, filling it isn't always good. Hmm. Filling it isn't always good. Okay. Analyze the problem. Interrupted revitalization is rare. I could have just pulled off her helmet, but that might have ended badly. There's a safer solution. Revitalization is like waking someone up. The sensors are activated in specific order. Hearing is usually first. Starletch was already active. Revitalization stages are displayed on the progress bar, but I couldn't recall the right order. I only remembered that vision was definitely last. I'm trying to see if they give me a revitalization um, 
Ha ha! For example... Wait, wait, wait. Cannot be sure. The order in which this, our weight is, and especially the motor system, must be activated. The motor system must be activated last. And it's responsible. So here's how it goes. First, it activates hearing. Okay. Then comes movement. You know. Yes, Cal, I imagine in your ear. So after the, the sense of balance is activated. Okay. So we want, we want hearing. She already has movement sense, sense of balance. Taste and smell. And then locomotor. Uh, I hope I remember all that. Interesting. Okay, Starlet, I think I know how to wake you. What in the hell? Wait, I hear laughter. What's happening? My deck detected the girl's helmets being bombarded with exabytes of data. Someone wanted to overload it and terminate our connection. Starlet, someone is trying to stop us from talking or probe me. Damn it, what are you going to do? The attack was intensifying. I didn't have much time. Uh, so I can't revitalize Starlet because I haven't done that whole sequence. Observe the attack signal. That's, that would allow me to find out where it's coming from. But it says I don't have much time. So I probably have to choose, right? Firewall or attack signal. Firewall. I'll activate some barriers to block the signal. But it's only a matter of time before they crack. It was possible to use jamming barriers to slow the attack. Or some weaker reflection barriers to track the attack source. Use jamming barriers. Give me time to revitalize her. I activated the barriers. But I didn't know how long they would hold out. Ooh, that's an interesting visual effect. Starlight, I put up some barriers. I bought us some time. Great. It's about time we got out of here. All right. Revitalize Starlight. We don't have much time. I'm going to try to get you out of here. Finally. Awaken her by stimulating her senses. The correct order was key. The, re the revitalization bar had stopped on stimulating proprioception. Prioception. It seemed right to start with that. Starlet, I'm going to try finishing your, your revitalization. I'm going to need to touch your body. Is that okay? Do whatever is necessary. Move Starlet's arm. I felt around for Starlet's arm in Rillium, raised it, and moved it around. The revitalization bar moved forward. Pro prioception complete. A good start, but the screen didn't display the next stage. Stimulate the sense of balance. I decided to stimulate her inner ear, her sense of balance. Raise Starlet's head. I gently raised the girl's head. Oh, something's happening. I feel dizzy. That means that your inner ear has been stimulated. I can stimulate another sense. Stimulate the sense of smell. Wait, no, no, no. It was... I thought it was taste. Huh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe a smell. Stimulate the sense of smell. It was time for the sense of smell. I knew it was connected with taste. I hesitate. Oh, okay, cool. Give her a piece of mint gum. I dug into my pocket for a pack of mint gum, took out a piece, and carefully slid it under Starlet's helmet. Hey, I smell something strange, and now I have a weird taste in my mouth. That means we're on the right track. Stimulate the sense of touch. I took Starlet's hand and squeezed it. I can feel your hand. Finally. Now comes vision. The attack was getting stronger. Finish revitalization. Unfasten Starlet's helmet. I'm about to take your helmet off. It should stimulate your vision and motor functions. I gently sit the helmet off her head. Finally. Thank you. Those words didn't come through the walk tail, but directly from her lips. I was just about to terminate the connection when I saw a message. Game deck. Whoever brought you into the game doesn't understand its rules. Oh, snap. That sends chills down your spine. 
Go home and go to sleep. It's for your own good. Don't get involved. The attack ended and I got disconnected. Whoa, I like this game. Well, Game Deck, you actually impressed me. Can you wake my son up now? I'll do what I can, Mr. Haggis. All right, that was impressive. Holy smokes. That was no joke. Who are you, Starlet? How are you feeling? I was without a suit. Ooh, wake up. Okay, cool. I was out of suit for too long. I'm still a bit shaky, but my back is cooling and my stomach is warming up. You pulled me back from that void. Thank you. The girl glanced at Haggis. You probably want to ask me some questions before I leave. Ask. Ask about the liquor. I found signs of someone drinking alcohol here. Do you know anything about it? We drank that expensive sparkling wine before going online. The boys were celebrating a birthday, that's all. Ask about, ask where they logged into. Do you remember which world you and the boys entered? I took them to Twisted and Perverted. If only I'd known how it would turn out. Ask about Fredo's condition. Fredo can't seem to log out of the game. Do you know why? No. The boys were fine and then I blacked out. I guess someone hacked me. Let her leave. Oh, she, so she doesn't provide me with any new information? Come on. That's all. Thank you. You should get some rest. I've overstayed my welcome. Drop by Yeti's coming in Low City sometime and I'll buy you a drink. Oh, Mr. Haggis? The man looked at Starlet with disgust. What do you want? Who do I bill for the escort service? You? Or the company. He wanted to say something, but just stood there holding his breath with his mouth tightly shut. <laughs> Crazy. He repeatedly clenched and unclenched his fist as if trying to control his emotions. Leave. I had nothing to say to him. All right. Um, deduction. How to help Fredo. Ooh, the main node is the question you are trying to answer. On the left side, you can see the clues you've gathered. Possible answers are listed to the right. Hover them to learn more. Every decision during deduction is irreversible. If you choose to have Haggis look for his son himself, you will abandon the case. If you believe you have enough information, click and hold the left mouse button on the chosen answer. Ooh. Let his father find his son in the game. Fredo is trying to attract his father's attention at all costs because he feels neglected. This behavior is a dangerous, desperate provocation. I should convince Haggis to enter the game, find his son, and rebuild their relationship. Look for him in, in the game Twisted and Perverted. Fredo may still be in the game Twisted and Perverted, an adult world that combines sex with violence. I should log into the game and find the boy there. Look for him in the game Paradise Beach. Paradise Beach is a world for people looking for love and sex. Fredo may be there. I should log into this game and find him. One should approach his testimony with caution. Went into the game for players over the age of 16. The game Fredo and Timmy entered allows participants to fight each other. It had to be a game with PvP, player versus player mechanics. Someone is trying to put pressure on Jeffrey Haggis. Timmy and Fredo may have visited the Paradise Game Beach game. Timmy and Fredo may have visited the Twisted and Perverted game. So I've come to the conclusion we're going to Twisted and Perverted because that seems like where they actually went. What's up with professions? I don't meet these requirements, so I've got two of these right now. So I've got a lot of spontaneity apparently. And I'm selfish. I don't know what I've done that makes me selfish, but okay. Um, okay, so what happens if I go into deduction, click on this and say, look for him in the game Twisted and Perverted. Virtualium. No data, no data. Okay. 
collect more clues or perform a deduction. Inform Haggis about your decision. I hope it's something important. Mr. Haggis, I've come to a decision about Fredo. I'm listening. Fredo might be inside the adults-only world, twisted and perverted. You know, the one combining sex and violence. I should look for him there. Haggis sighed. That's what I was afraid of. Do your thing. The access fee for that virtual alum will be taken care of. All expenses are on me. If you were afraid of that, why didn't you tell me that from the very beginning? Oh, Timmy's clothes? I didn't click on that? They looked like Timmy's clothes. He hadn't changed. Search. I found a walk tail in the pants pocket. Show me your walk tail and I'll tell you who you are. Well, we were about to find out. Check sit messages. It's funny how much a few messages can tell you about someone. The kid seemed oversensitive. One of the messages to Fredo was a deeply bitter complaint about a promise the young Haggis had broken. It seemed like his friend had taken advantage of his trust on more than one occasion. Check received messages. In his last message, Fredo said that his 16th birthday was coming up. He was trying to convince Timmy to play an adult game. Twisted and Perverted was definitely an adult game. It could have been the right track. Leave. End. All right. Couch. I took another look at the luxury couch. Deduction. Enter Twisted and Perverted. Oh, wait, search. In case I'm slightly loose, yeah, nothing you can do about that. <clears throat> Deduction, inner twisted and perverted. Something bad had happened in TMP. Fredo must have been there, so I needed to go in. Read that before. Each virtual alum has its own HUD. It shows the character's level, your experience points, slots for collected items, for collected objects, and kills and death counters. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Do we get a map? Nope, no map. Game rules. An arrow pointed to a file hanging in the air. Download. I touched the file and downloaded the data. It contained the rules of the game. Where do I see game rules? Personality types infotainer. A lot of stuff I need to look at again. Games for adults, twisted and perverted. These are game turns and conditions of some TMP tidbits. If you want to be a quality player, pick a partner, talk to them, invite them for a drink, come visit the theater in this location. And then when you're both feeling really good, you know what we mean, try to kill them in some way. This is the way of TMP. Don't spray and pray and don't kill in the streets. That's not what it's about. Check out the discussion forum on the game's website. Take a look at the top recordings, logins, rumors, and the what they write about us section. Our website is con connected with the personal My Own Spaces pages of individual players, their blogs, and many other exciting and intimate locations. We support our players. Therefore, you will find an appropriate support tab on the website as well. Have fun and remember, your actions are being recorded and may be used to advertise the game. Don't worry, if you're not using a massive skin, you can count on us to hide your face. If you don't want to be recorded, connect your my own space, etc. and block the option in the settings. Otherwise, you only have yourself to blame. Oh, and one more thing. You can't log out of our game by just raising your hand and sticking out your finger. No, you won't open the logout window like that. It'd be too easy. You can only log out in the so-called refugee areas. In this location, refugees look like subway entrances. And lastly, this time for real, don't try bringing minors here. This really is a game for adults only. If someone too young tries to enter, the gates you go through before leaving the subway won't allow it. Happy hunting. Two others are locked. Interesting. 
All right. So. So this is the theater, right? Shit. What am I even doing here? What is Rhonda? Psst, buddy. Hey. Come here for a moment. Oh, this is kind of crazy. Why would you do that? The fuck is your problem? Spawning here and hollering nonsense. What the fuck did you do during the match, you fucking troll? Oh, shit, it's you. Listen, dude, we didn't mean to ruin my entire career. How the fuck did you glitch there? I don't know. King exploited some strange item we were brought to you. Did you take me for an idiot? No, no, I'm your fan. What, a fan? Fucking cheater. Wow, damn trolls. <laughs> I hate cheaters. What are you looking at? You one of them? I'm talking to you. You a troll, huh? Enjoy bullying esports players? Jeez. You know what? I do want to talk to him. Oh, that's Ken Zhao. The man was watching me over his dark glasses. Why can't I use my keyboard? My keyboard has stopped working all of a sudden in the game. I'll ask you one question. Think carefully before you answer. Are you a damn troll? Low City. Say that you're from Low City. I'm just a regular Low City dweller, like you. He smiled wryly. I thought I got rid of the manners of the lower walkways, and yet, you just found yourself a friend. Ask him about himself. So in general, who the hell are you? Give me something to think about. He exhaled loudly through his nose. So you don't know me, huh? A few hours ago, I was a rising Gudabad star. There was an important match, my way to a great career, but it went to shit because of a few trolls. Ask about the trolls. But how were the trolls involved? I saw them, grinning and malicious. I tracked them here to a dead end. Zed is my only lead. Investors must be furious, leaving mid-match. What was I thinking? Zed is my only lead. Investors must be livid. I logged out in the middle of the game. So embarrassing. Ask about his career. You're in esports? I play good or bads. I'm pretty good. Immune to pain. This match was fucking important with sponsors watching. And I blew it. Fucking trolls. Ask about the match. What's the deal with this match? I was about to score. Then some trolls appear with a strange structure. I froze, lost my seal. So I rage quit, probably ruined my career. Now I want revenge. I froze and lost the seal. I got so pissed off that I quit the game. Rage quit. I'm looking for them now. Ask about something else. Why does it seem like he repeats himself? Hmm. Say you could use a partner. Come on, I could use your help with the investigation. Sure thing, Chief. Anything that'll keep me from thinking about my career. Okay. So now I have a partner. This is interesting. Zero points. Bob Zopa. I'd like to note that I don't want to put anything inside you or pull anything out to do anything else these deviants do. I'm not like that. You seem like the only normal person in this whole circus, and I have a sensitive problem. Very sensitive. I'll just say it. I'm looking for my wife. Hear him out. Tell me more. This is how it is. I've been standing here for an hour and can't find Rhonda anywhere. At the same time, I just know she's cheating on me. Say he's not looking right. Cut to the chase. Hmm. Say he's not looking right. Let me tell you a little secret. If you want to find someone, you need to go look for them. Go is the key word. <laughs> now let's cut to the chase. I'm a game deck and I need specific information. A game deck? I've lucked out. I was told that she plays here often and has quite the results. <sighs> Mention your rate. I'm a game deck, get it? I don't work for free. He scratched his head. Damn. I'm a little short on money right now, but maybe we could come to some sort of arrangement, eh? Ask for his proposal, ask for information. Don't worry, I don't want money. Just tell me where, what you saw while you were standing here. Phew, 
I knew we would find some common ground. Actually, I wanted to know his proposal. I thought I would still get the option to ask that, but okay, whatever. So will you help me? Yeah, sure, agree. All right, I'll look for her. Really? Thank you. There's some good people left in the world. Ask about his wife. Mention her preferences. Does your wife have any special sexual preferences? Any fetishes? The letter said she's into some strange things and likes to push the limits. How can you push the limits in a world like this? I had also said everything with everything with everyone and everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> as, a, as a fellow husband, that is definitely not the way you want to hear your wife being described. Holy smokes. <laughs> Mention her skin. Do you know the skin your wife is wearing? Skin? On top of everything she's wearing people's skin? I meant a skin, you know, a gaming avatar. It's like, oh, I know what a skin is. I thought you were talking about another fetish, human skin alive. I have no idea what she looks like here. Ask about her handle. Do you know the handle she uses? There was something in the anonymous letter. Uh horny or something. Ask about something else. Ask about himself. Who are you anyway? A loser. Can't you tell? Ask about him being a loser. A loser. I rarely hear someone being so critical of themselves. What am I supposed to be like? My rights running off to that. He desperately searched for the missing word. He finally gave up and sighed. You know what she's running off to. Comfort him. Hey, it happens. It's not the end of the world. No, no, just wait. I was tipped off that she hangs out here doing awful things. So I started looking for the location. It's some kind of exclusive level. I spent all my savings to get here to this Sodom and Gomorrah, my own money. Mention Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah. You seriously don't like it here, huh? <laughs> of course I don't. This place is... Don't get me started, am I right? Say it's beautiful. If you think about it, there's a beauty to it. Not everything nice has to be clean and colorful. The man swallowed and discreetly made the sign of the cross. <laughs> See, I've been making games for years, the tech behind it all. That's the real beauty. You can use it to create any world, any reality. And they decided to make Hell, it's an insult to design. When I see such creations, I start thinking about changing my line of work. Ask about his work. So you make games? I'd never touch an abomination like this one, but it doesn't matter. I was fired. Investigate. Listen, I'm looking for someone. Maybe anything to do with Rhonda? God, I don't even want to think about it. Maybe? Confirm. The person I'm looking for may have something to do with your Rhonda, so try to tell me everything as accurately as you can. My God, what did I do to deserve this? Ask about Fredo's skin. I'm looking for a young man with access to money, okay? Did you see anyone in expensive skin? Something top of the line. A while ago, I saw two guys and a woman. One kept looking around. The other seemed to like it here. The first had a leather skin. They called him Flap Doodle. I, damn it, I can't focus. What can she be doing now? Answer professionally. An investigation needs time and intelligence. Trust me, investigate. My brain is boiling, humor me. I need to know what happened to her. Ask about strange behavior. Was anyone around here acting strange, taking into consideration the behavioral standards of TMP? People were yelling, flat doodle, you idiot, and don't be mean, two gay bay. I heard a shot and people gathered. I didn't go. I just care about Rhonda. He started to think and stared into the distance, then snapped out of it with a disgusted look. Sorry, I just imagined Rhonda with some bum. Comfort him. Calm down. I'm sure she'll turn up. Ask about himself. Ask about the firing. Why did they fire you? 
Long story, I was working on harvest systems for harvest time and they gave me an AI assistant. I trained it, taught it, adjusted it, and they finally let me go. Too bad they didn't tell me earlier. I wouldn't have spent all that money on looking for my wife. Ask about wife, ask about something else. Investigate. Okay, ooh. Other questions. Leave, end. Save. So, deduction. How to help Fredo. I already chose that, right? Back. Oh, here we go. Chulum. Here we are. What was Fredo's nickname? Player Flap Flapdoodle wore a leather skin. Player Two Gay Bay was making a fuss at the gates. Player Two Gay Bay was shoving Flapdoodle around. What was Fredo's nickname? Two Gay Bay was shoving Flapdoodle around. Well, uh, the other kid definitely was not sh shoving Fredo around, so. Fredo could use his real name and play in a skin that matched his appearance. Definitely not. Flap Doodle. Fredo might, might have avoided drawing attention to himself by using inexpensive skin and an uninteresting handle. What I hear about Two Gay Bay may correspond to the boisterous behavior of a rich kid. I agree. This is a game deck I've been going on for quite a while. Please take care of this. I'm going crazy. Ignore the remark. Investigate. Ask about Two Gay Bay. What do you know about the player in the expensive and lavish skin? I'm sorry, but we're wasting time. If you know what happened to Rhonda, tell me now. Or I'll keep looking for her on my own, all right? So once again, do you know anything or should I keep looking on my own? Let him leave. I, I don't have anything. I'm sorry. Too bad I couldn't be of more help, but my marriage is falling apart. I have to go. All right, we're definitely not eating that. Okay, so. All right, so at least we know his nickname, and now we need to find um, his wife before we speak to him again. Okay. I think that's enough for one day. Hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like down below, share this content, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.